Welcome to another mod installation video. Despite having the master levels for Doom 2 sat in my Steam library for several years now, for some reason I've barely even bothered to look at it. Well, recently I thought that it was high time that I finally got around to trying this out, but the problem I encountered straight away was that I wasn't even able to successfully load the game, never mind play it. I've since found out that this has something to do with that particular version of DOSBox not functioning correctly, and although I did manage to find an alternative installation method, it still didn't work for me, though I very much expect that was a case of user error on my part. Anyway, at length, I eventually managed to source another means of getting this to work, and better still, a simpler one. Fortunately, I was lucky enough to stumble upon a web page called BLZUT3 Weblog. Now, to get this to work, I've used the Zandronum source port, which I quite often use when tinkering with Doom mods. It's a very simple .exe installation, so really, there isn't much else to say there. Once you've sorted your Zandronum installation out, click the download link here, and then simply extract to a location of your choice. I tend to extract to the desktop, partly for simplicity, and partly due to habit. Then open up the folder, double click the master.wad file and away you go. And here we are in the master levels of Doom 2. Uh, by clicking new game you get to choose an episode uh, rather than have to load the master levels individually like uh, you've had to before. So I'm just going to play as per normal the first level which is called Attack. And I think I will play it on ultraviolence. And as I've mentioned in the video so far, I'm using uh, Zandronum, uh, which, you know, you get uh, bullet decals and so forth, and it just polishes it very slightly. And you'll find that when you load it up, you'll be able to choose all sorts of options. Or activate various kinds of options. Another solution you can use to uh, get this to run is simply to try a different version of DOSBox, uh, which I, I didn't actually try that out, so I don't know uh, how successful it is, but I hear that it does work. Uh, but the solution I've provided here, or I should say the solution I've highlighted here, it's not my creation, uh, it clearly works very well. Right, I better collect the armour, I think. I don't know this map at all well, I've only played it twice or once before this video, so I'm uh, as much in the dark as uh, anyone else is that hasn't played it really. Ah, double barrel shotgun. That'll come in handy. You may notice the particle effects with the uh, Zandronum source port are uh, somewhat better than normal. I'm trying to find these lost souls, they starting to turn me around a bit. Yeah, and you should notice that the blood particle effects look, uh, well, in my opinion, they look better than uh, the original. Oh, 
Although, of course, that is, uh, you know, down to personal uh, preference. I think I got him. Yeah. It's a hell night, isn't it? Yeah, they're significantly easier than their uh, cousins, the barons of hell. And a Mancubus is down below, which remember from last time he caused me quite a bit of uh, trouble so hopefully I can dispatch him quite quickly this time good shot right, I think I'm gonna wait for that uh, get my bearings around here Oh, I've got the red key, haven't I? So that means I can do this. Right, yeah. They look pretty good, the uh, Lost Souls with the particle effects there, just coming off them. That looks uh, that's quite nice. Right, so that's not going to be good, is it? I've got a feeling I'll be uh, needing those later on. This particular playthrough of this level isn't... Uh, I'm not too fussed about finding secrets, so forgive me if I don't uh, find them all, or even any of them. Right, where am I going? Not there. Ah, yeah, I remember this bit now. <laughs> Your health just... Uh, drops down quite fast when you're up against those uh, ch uh, commando types. some uh, imp somewhere. That I do remember. Grab some much needed health. Right, so I've got the blue key now as well, so I don't see the point of uh, hanging around too much. Uh, this way, I think.
Oh, this is where I went before, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, I just want to quickly run through that blue door. I'm not sure I've even done that yet. Ah, that's it. So that's the yellow key, which, I, to be honest with you, I'd completely forgotten about that altogether. So I'm not home and dry just yet. Yes, yeah, so I'm using the Zandronum uh, source port, so I can do things like jump, which... Uh, for those people out there that want to be, uh, you know, more of a purist, then uh, you can turn that option off. Just in case. Love the particle effects. I keep mentioning it, I know, but I love the particle effects from the rockets and the uh, various weapons. Adds a really nice touch to it. And I've really done very little to improve this. It's just a bit of Zandronum, a few options, and away you go. over the tree as best I can. Uh, I won't bother with the combat armor just yet, I don't think. Right, what does this do? Oh, that just takes me back up there, does it? Right. Right. Oh, I see. This is at the end. Lucky not to get hurt there. When I played through this level uh, a couple of days ago or so, I kept hopping up and down and killed the enemies from this from that position. So uh, I didn't teleport in and suddenly see a load of enemies. It was uh, much easier. Right, so that's it. Or is it? Okay, so that's attack from the master levels for Doom 2. So all in all, very, very easy installation. It couldn't be much easier, really. So as always, links will be left in the uh, description so you know where to go. 
and thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, click like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in something else. Bye for now.